Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw a biohazard symbol. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web, click OK. Press the Ctrl and R buttons on your keyboard to show the ruler. Next, we will make custom guidelines that will help us create the symbol. Go to the Artboard tool and select Show center mark from the top. Now using the direct selection tool, click in the corner of the ruler, hold, and pressing the control key on your keyboard, drag it to the center mark. Then let it go. Next we will draw two lines on top of these guidelines. Let's change the fill color to none and the stroke color to red. Now select the line segment tool. Click on this guideline and holding the shift key on your keyboard draw a long straight line. Now click on top of this line and draw a vertical line. Press the letter V to select it. And now we will offset this line. Go to Object, Path and select Offset Path. Change the offset to 5 and click OK. Select the center line again. Go to Object again, Path. Offset Path and this time type 20. Now let's offset the horizontal line. Click on it to select it. Go to Object, Path, Offset Path and type 110. Click OK. Select the middle line again. Go to Object, Path, Offset Path and type 150. Press Enter. Now let's delete the middle lines. Click on them and press the Delete key on your keyboard. Now drag a box to select all the lines. Go to View, Guides and select Make Guides. Now go to Layers and let's lock this layer. Next we will create a new layer. Click on the Create New Layer icon. Let's change the stroke color to None and the fill color to Green. First we will draw the center part, which will be the two bigger circles and one small circle with the three lines that breaks up the biohazard symbol in the middle. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool and click on the artboard. Type 280 for the width and 280 for the height. Press Enter. Deselect. Click on the artboard again and type 200 for the width and 200 for the height. Press Enter. Let's change the color of this circle to lighter green. And let's make one more circle. Click on the artboard and type 60 for the width and 60 for the height. Press Enter. And let's change the color of this one to light blue. Now drag a box to select all of them. Go to Align Window and choose Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center. Let's zoom in. Next we remove all these circles to the center. 
Press V to select all of them, click in the center and drag it to this intersection. Deselect and let's draw three narrow rectangles and attach them to the small circle. Press the letter M for the rectangle tool and click on the artboard. Type 10 for the width and 50 for the height. Click OK. And let's place it between these two guidelines. Now we will rotate it around the circle and make two more copies. Press the letter R for the Rotate tool. Now press and hold the ALT key and click in the center to set the rotation point. Type 120 for the angle and click Copy. And press Ctrl D to make one more copy. Now we will unite all the blue parts into one shape. Press the letter V for the selection tool and holding the shift key select all the blue parts. Now go to Pathfinder and select Unite. We will be using these shapes later. Let's hide them for now. Go to Layers and click on this arrow. Let's lock all the sublayers and turn off their visibility. Next we'll draw the top part of the symbol, which will be the three interlocking circles. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool, click on the artboard and type 300 for the width and 300 for the height. Press Enter. Let's change the color of this circle to light orange. Now select it and align the center of it with this intersection. Deselect. Let's make two more circles. Type 210 for the width and 210 for the height. Press Enter. Change the color to blue. And one more circle, 190 for the width and 190 for the height. Press Enter. And change the color of this one to light pink. Select both and align them to the center. Now we will line up the center of these two circles with this intersection. Next we'll draw a small rectangle to cut out the top orange shape. Press the letter M for the rectangle tool and click on the artboard. Type 40 for the width and 30 for the height. Click OK. Let's change the color to light green. Deselect. Zoom in on this part. And let's place this rectangle between the two outer guidelines covering the orange part. Now press Ctrl semicolon to hide the guidelines. Next we will cut out the blue shape. Select the orange circle, press and hold the shift key and select the blue circle. Now go to Pathfinder and select minus front. And let's cut out the top part. Select the orange shape, select the green shape. Go to Pathfinder and choose minus front. Zoom out. Next we will rotate both shapes around the circle and make two more copies. Select both shapes. Press the letter R for the Rotate tool and holding the ALT key on your keyboard, click on the center mark to set the rotation point. Type 120 for the angle and click Copy. And press Ctrl D to make one more copy. 
Now select all the pink circles and let's move them to the back. Right click with your mouse, select Arrange and Send to Back. Next select all the orange shapes and we will delete the parts we don't need. Go to the Shape Builder tool and holding the ALT key on your keyboard, click on these parts to delete them. Now press V for the selection tool and let's unite these parts. Go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Let's change the color of this shape to black. And now we will need the shapes we drew at the beginning. Go to the Layers panel and let's unlock these three parts. And make them visible. Next we will cut out the center part. Select the blue shape, click on it, then right click with your mouse Select Arrange and bring to front. Now holding the Shift key, select the black shape. Go to Pathfinder and choose minus front. And let's cut out the light green circle. Select both green circles. Go to Pathfinder and choose minus front. Let's bring the green shape to the front. Right click, select Arrange and bring to front. Next we will cut the green circle into three parts and delete all the pink circles. With the green shape still selected, press the Shift key and select the pink circles. Now go to the Shape Builder tool, press and hold the Alt key and click on all these parts to delete them. Now press V to select the green shapes and let's change the color of them to black. And finally press Ctrl A to select everything Go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. And let's hide the center mark. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.